Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this nutty ass store that's once again coming from our fifth favorite state, Nutty Ass New York. So now this is the first 2016 story from New York on my channel, but this story is just really extremely disturbing. We're looking for five young men who allegedly raped a girl in front of her father um, at a park in Brooklyn. So what happened is that basically they're saying that these five boys came up to the father and the daughter, they're walking through the park, they pulled out a gun on the father, told him to leave, and then all five of them proceeded to rape this girl. Now they're saying that the youngest is only 14 years old and the two young ones is a 14 and a 15 year old. Both of those parents turned their sons in and then as of today, the older ones were caught, but now they're saying there's more to the story. Supposedly what happened is that they ran up on the father having sex with the daughter in the park. This story has been getting crazier and crazier by the day. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these two news clips. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Good evening to you, Craig and Kala. Now, community leaders had urged the parents of the teens involved to turn their children in, and apparently that is what happened. Two 15-year-olds with their parents surrendered at the 73rd Precinct Station House earlier this evening. The two 15-year-olds can be seen on the videotape at the bodega minutes before the attack on an 18-year-old woman in the playground, Osborne Playground. Now, these two 15-year-olds are not considered suspects at this time. They are considered persons of interest wanted in connection with that gang rape. Community leaders gathered in front of the 73rd Precinct to urge the other three men, young men. Uh, at first, we believed they were in their 20s and 30s. Now it is appearing that they are all teenagers. They are urging the other three to surrender as well. All five teens were seen in that videotape at the bodega. The community leaders are, are particularly concerned about the gunmen surrendering to police. Now, earlier today, also the Brooklyn Borough President questioned how police handled the response to this rape. You know, I want to thank those that have actually made the phone calls, and I want to thank those parents that were responsible enough to walk these two individuals in who are persons of interest. They've not been arrested yet. They're just being interviewed. But what we want to say, and, and I think you'll hear it as a cohesiveness here, we want those individuals off the street that committed this crime. Why it took two days for the community to know that a young woman was raped? Why did it take two days before this was reported? Uh, the members of this community should be notified immediately uh, when you have such a savage assault uh, with a handgun and a rape. Now, also tonight, the NYPD released a statement saying there was no delay in their response to the gang rape. There was no 911 call. The father of the victim looked for a uniformed police officer. That took about 15 minutes for him to find an officer and get back to the playground. The NYPD also says that there was no delay in releasing the surveillance video. As soon as they found out there was surveillance video, they released it to the public. We are live in Brownsville, Brooklyn. McGee, Hickey, PIX11 News. Back to you, Craig and Colin. Are you getting out on this? Let him come out. Yeah, no problem. We got you. We got you. Let him out. Let him out. All right, so you guys just saw the news clip. So like I said, you know, the story just does not make too much sense to me. I don't understand, one, why the father is walking through the park with his daughter in the middle of the night and it's cold. Two, even if what these young boys are saying is realistic that the father was somehow sleeping with his own child, why would you get involved in the situation? None of these people knew each other from jump. So why, I'm like, I don't understand the logic here. They don't even know if the father and the daughter are related, if they're boyfriend and girlfriend, they have no idea. They just see a man sleeping with a young girl in the park and instead of either running away, calling the police, being concerned, they decide to engage. 
Like, it just makes no sense whatsoever. And it's just sad that we just have so many young people out here with this pack mentality. Instead of thinking for themselves, leaving the situation, not wanting to be involved, now all of these guys are being charged with first degree criminal rape. Youngest, like I said, is 14 years old. You know, that's just crazy that so many kids end up in stupid situations because they wanted to be followers and not leaders. You know, this whole situation is just insane. I'm not really inclined to believe these boys because I feel like they're going to say, what, especially the older ones, they're going to say whatever they can say to try and get up out of this. The fact that these kids are getting younger and younger and bolder and bolder. You know, these boys chose to pull out a gun to a grown adult and then proceed to rape his daughter. They told him to leave and they knew that at any point in time, this man could come back with the police. He could come back with his own goon squad. And it just shows you how fearless some of these kids are. They don't even understand the ramifications and the situations they're getting getting themselves involved in. It's almost like some of these kids don't even have a conscience. Like, I don't understand how this became okay to start doing things like that, to not be empathetic, to not think, you know what, what if that's my 18-year-old sister? What if that's my mom? What if that's my grandmother? It's like these kids are missing an empathy chip and they just don't care anymore. They're just willing to follow the crowd and not think about the consequences, not think about how they're treating that individual. I mean, this whole situation is just sickening. At the end of the day, I think for me, I can only stick with the original report where the father said that they had pulled the gun out on him. And I know some people are saying, you know, why would the father run? Why would you leave your daughter there? But at the end of the day, did it make any sense for the father to sit there, watch his daughter be raped as opposed to running and going to go get help? And even in the news reports, they're saying that the father ran to a bodega, um, that the person who owned it would not let him use the phone. So he had to run a few more blocks away until he finally found a, um, a police officer And that's how he was able to bring them back to the park So the whole situation is just sad You know, the whole situation is just sick But I personally do not believe what these young boys are saying I think that at the point now that they're caught They're just trying to come up with any type of scenario To try and get themselves off the hook You know, this is why it's so important for so many young boys To learn to be leaders And to not be sheeples and just follow the crowd You know, it makes no sense That a bunch of boys would think it was okay to to engage in a rape of a woman as opposed to walking away from the situation trying to go get help you know sad that we're raising so many followers and so many weak young boys out here as opposed to teaching them to be men teaching them to have respect for themselves to have respect for their private parts and to have respect for other people you know so this whole situation is definitely definitely heartbreaking let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation once again coming from our fifth ever state nutty ass New York. Are you believing what these boys are saying? Do you feel like the father may have been involved? Or do you feel like these young boys are just trying to come up with anything so that way they don't get in trouble? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later, deuces.